and now we come to the last section of this chapter the linear wave equation the linear wave equation is the equation that governs the motion of the traveling wave I will give you the final form of the linear wave equation without proof that is the linear wave equation is given as a d square y by dt square is equal to the 1 over v square of d square y by dt square sorry this is dx this is the wave equation here V is the speed of the wave and since I will not give you the detail how to derive this equation I will show you it's reasonable to believe that this equation are uh, the wave uh, it's equation are uh, the linear wave equation of the traveling wave okay let's start with the y is equal to a sine kx minus omega t this can be plus also but I choose to work with the minus sign here d y by dx is equal to the k a cos k x minus omega t and I'm sorry we may have to use this symbol is better but we read it in the same way that this is a d y by dx and also we have d square y by dx square is equal to the minus of k a psi k x minus omega t okay next let's see d square dy by dt square dy by dt square is equal to the minus of omega a um, omega a psi kx minus omega t okay and the second derivative d square y by dt square is is equal to the um, omega square a psi sorry cos k x minus omega t let's correct this part a little bit this must be the cosine function and this term must be a sine function okay and if we substitute this term and this term to the wave equation what we have is that um, minus k a 
uh, psi kx minus omega t equal to the left of this equation is equal to the minus omega square a psi kx minus omega t okay uh, please correct this term must have the negative sign here okay so a cancel each other sign um, we must have the one over v square here too so this is one over um, one over v square and the uh, minus sign here. Okay, so you can see that. The angle. I can smell them, and you can see that what we have is that this negative cancel, and we have that k is equal to the one over v square of omega square. Here we should have square here too. Okay, maybe it's missing somewhere. If we look at the previous slide, okay, it, we must have the k square here. Okay, so what we have is k square is equal to the one over v square times omega square which means that velocity is equal to the omega over k which equal to the um, two pi f over two pi Um, lambda and we have v is equal to lambda f the meaning of doing this is that starting from the linear equation linear wave equation we can use this to derive the velocity of his own wave so it will be the relation that we have discussed before in this chapter and that proof that this equation is the linear wave equation for the traveling wave in one dimension.